Hi dear students, this is Vetri. In this video, we are going to see about B tree, right? B tree is also a kind of binary search tree. We used to call this one as multi-way search tree. This is also going to follow the uh, the basic rules like uh, if it is less than the root value, it will it will proceed in left side, left sub tree, and if it is more uh, greater than root value, means it could get get placed at right sub tree, right? So this is the structure we are going to follow in B tree also, and. Uh, what are the additional properties we are having when we comparing with ABL tree and why we are going for uh, B tree instead of using other trees, other tree data structures. Okay, so let me explain one by one. What are the additional properties we are having in B tree? The first property is all the leaf nodes are at bottom level and it has to be in same level, right? And second one, root node should have at least two children. In binary tree and binary search tree, the rule is it can have 0, 1 or can have 2 children, right? At most, they can have 2 children. When it comes to B tree, it should have at least 2 children, okay? At least it should have 2 children. All the internal nodes should have at least M by 2 childs, okay? So, when we are doing the example, I will explain you how we are going to deal with M. M which is nothing but an order, okay? Multi-base search tree, that, that means a B tree, uh, the proceedings always based on the order of the tree, order of B tree, okay? See, under basic terminologies, I am going to explain what is order and all, okay? Right, maximum number of child is going to be M, M is order, okay? So, maximum number of child is, it can have 3 childs maximum. Right, it can have three childs, and what is maximum number of keys? Maximum number of keys, which is nothing but m minus one. So m order m is equal to three means so it definitely it can have m minus one keys, which is three minus one two. It can have two keys inside to the node. The main um, difference when we compare it with other tree nodes, which is so, a node can have more than one element, which is based on the order of the tree, okay, order of the B tree. Now, minimum number of keys. What is minimum number of keys? See, the formula is seal of m by 2 minus 1. So, here, for order is m is equal to 3 means 3 by 2 seal minus 1. So, what is the seal value? 1.5 minus 1. What is the seal value of 1.5? 2. 2 minus 1 which is 1. So, it, we can have minimum number of key as 1, right? And minimum number of child, minimum number of child which is nothing but this. So, what is the formula? M by 2. See? Seal of 1.5, sorry. 3 by 2 is going to be seal of 1.5. So, it is going to be 2. Minimum number of child definitely should have minimum two childs. So for m is equal to three. Okay. So it's slightly complex when we comparing with other tree structures. Okay. So keep on eye. Okay. Let me explain with an example. I hope you understood the basic terminologies about the B tree, right? So it's very simple. The first thing is you have to keep your eye on on which order we are going to deal the B tree. Sometimes we will have order as 3 or 4 or 5, right? After that, you have to find out these four terminologies. This is very, very important. First, you have to find out the maximum number of keys, maximum number of, sorry, maximum number of child and then maximum number of keys. After that, minimum number of keys and then minimum number of child, okay? The formulas are very simple. Maximum number of child is M. Ma maximum number of keys is M minus 1. And minimum number of keys is M by 2, CLA. Uh, seal of m by 2 minus 1 and minimum number of child is seal of m by 2 that's it right so the formulas are very easy and you have to keep these things um, now here we have the example okay so here i have 10 elements uh, which i'm going to insert into b tree and the order is 3 which means m is equal to 3 so after that what is the first step so we have to discuss we have to find out the basic terminologies so already we have discussed about that right so under problem statement i am going to find the first one as maximum number of child 
so uh, what is the formula it's going to be m so m is 3 a node can have maximum 3 child okay and the next one is maximum number of keys so the formula is m minus 1 so it's going to be 3 minus 1 2 right and minimum number of child the formula is seal of m by 2 minus 1 right so i hope you know that what is seal and what is floor right so seal means we have to take the round value and uh, for the floor we have to take only the decimal value right and now see m is 3 by 2 1.5 sorry minus 1 it's going to be 2 minus 1 and value will be 1 okay minimum number of child is going to be 1 and minimum number of keys so what is the formula just m by 2 c of m by 2 so 1.5 which means 2 okay so this is the problem statement so here we have found maximum number of child is going to be 3 maximum number of keys is going to be 2 and minimum number of child is going to be 1 and finally minimum number of keys is going to be 2 right so by using this only we are going to uh, prepare a structure for the b tree okay so let me follow here i have the example here i have 10 numbers okay 10 elements which is going to be inside that uh, b tree with order 3 okay so from the basic terminology from the problem statement i know that maximum number of keys per node is 2 which is nothing but c key 1 and key 2 okay so usually we will use a circle for representing a node for a change i'm going to use square here for better understanding so square why i'm using means you can compare square with rooms okay so room can have one person or two person three person like that according to the size of the room so here we have the room size as two a room can accommodate only two persons okay now see here and uh, the first value and uh, before going to start insert insertion you have to keep in your mind all the data are going to be sorted in ascending order from left to right okay so first i'm going to insert five this is my first room okay five then eight this is also going to follow the binary search tree structure okay so we have we have to compare each and every node for placing on the position okay it can be as left or right if it is less than means we have to place it at left side and uh, greater than means you have to get placed at uh, right side okay so eight is greater than so before going to sub tree you have to keep in your mind uh, the size of the node okay so here we can accommodate maximum two children sorry two elements so first you have to check the internal capacity after that only you can go to uh, right or left subtract okay so first eight so eight is greater than a node which is already uh, present here five is less than eight so i am keeping five as left side and uh, eight as right side then next element is nine the first thing is 9 it is greater than i have placed it right right but from the terminology a node can have maximum two elements right two keys see here i'm having three keys so the collision occurs so you have to rotate or you have to rearrange the node okay see how i'm doing it the rule is you have to bring the middle element in a middle element uh, into the previous level so here we don't have any previous level so you have to keep 8 as root node and then 5 after breaking this room you have to separate you have to isolate all the nodes okay okay see i'm bringing middle element as root node then 5 9 as left and right subtree okay so next next i am going to insert 20 so 20 is first you have to start comparing from the root node okay 20 is greater than 8 then it's going to be right subtree so 9 9 is 
less than 20 so 20 is greater than 9 so we have to first you have to fill the internal uh, area okay internal node so we have the space i'm going to keep 20 here okay after that the next element is 30 so 30 is greater than 8 and 30 is greater than 9 as well as 30 is greater than 20 also so first 30 before going to break the node see first you have to uh, keep in the node okay so for example we can if uh, the room can have maximum two person means uh, one person is coming lately so we can keep at for, for some time for uh, we can keep for 10 minutes 15 minutes after after that we can arrange room for that person then we can send them right so just keep that comparison in your mind so simply have to keep for 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 while okay after that we are going to make the adjustment okay see so here is the node after 30 so here the collision occurs the room is full already we cannot keep third person third element into that node so what you have to do you have to bring you have to find out the middle element middle element is 20 so you have to bring this middle element into the previous level of the tree okay so if it is full means you have to uh, make the adjustment again but here it's not full you can keep 20 here right because this node also can have two elements right so after that you have to isolate these two nodes so the isolation should be on proper order right after eight you have to imagine yourself it's we are having a, a like a like a, like a links in between these two nodes okay so nine is greater than eight and 30 is greater than 20 so in this order you have to keep your sub trees okay now the next element is 15 15 see 15 is here we have two nodes in our root node so very very important that's that, that's why i told that we are having a link each node will have the link like this right a data and left subtree and right subtree so here also it's having the property left subtree and right subtree for 20 also left subtree and right subtree now 15 15 is see 15 is greater than 8 and less than 20 right so you have to bring in middle to it which one is in middle 9 right so i'm going to keep here 15 right next next element is 16 so by using the same root i have to bring 16 here see what happened 16 because 16 is greater than 8 and less than 20 i'm going to keep in this point and i'm going to keep as uh, right right subtree of 8 and left subtree of 20 okay again collision occurs because the tree is full now what you have to do you have to bring 15 to the previous level see what happens you have to bring 15 why i'm keeping why i'm bringing 15 to here because that one is the middle one 9 15 16 we are having so you have to bring the middle one so 15 is going to get placed at here see what happened 15 here also the room is full in root node also the room is full what we have to do again we are going to bring the middle element as the root node okay so very interesting right see what will happen so you have to bring out which one is middle we are having 8 15 and 20 right which one is middle 15 15 is going to get placed as root node and then 8 is going to be left sub tree and 20 is going to be right sub tree according to that value see already we are having right so you have to keep 5 as left sub tree of 8 and so after breaking this room 9 and 16 will get isolated right see 9 will become another node and 16 will become another node so see again compare with the root node 9 is less than 15 and greater than 18 sorry 8 and then when it comes to 16 16 is greater than side right so you have to keep us left sub tree of 20 and 30 already lying here as right sub tree of 20 
okay so this is how i have arranged after inserting 16 okay so keep your eye on this uh, rotations very very important otherwise uh, once you lost the point then it's very difficult to go back okay you have to start from the first step now next i'm going to insert 14 okay 14 is less than 15 and then greater than 8 so it will get placed with 9 okay 9 and 14 10 so no problem we can keep two element right after that 13 again 13 is less than 8 and greater than sorry 13 is less than 15 greater than 8 so we are going to keep 13 in the same room so again the problem comes so what you have to do you have to bring the middle element so which one is middle 13 is middle to the previous level okay so i'm going to place 13 at here after that what will happen you have to isolate 9 and 14 okay see i have inserted 13 and then i have checked with 15 and 8 after that i have bring into the spike sub tree of 8 then there is no space at that then i'm bringing 13 to the previous level okay 13 is the middle node right next next element is 31 see what happened so before that you have to make sure that whether the left sub tree of of 15 all the nodes are less than 15 okay that is very very important so the next one is 31 C thirty one is greater than fifteen and greater than twenty and greater than thirty also, but we have space at space at here. If in this space we have only one element, so I can keep thirty one here. Okay. So the final tree is C fifteen as root node, eight thirteen and twenty for eight. We are having the subtrees as five, nine, and fourteen. For twenty, we are having two subtrees, sixteen, thirty-one. Okay. So now uh, the main thing is after completion of all the insertion. So you have to make sure that uh, whether we are satisfying um, whether it's satisfying the Uh, basic terminologies of B tree uh, with an order three. Okay, so find out the first one is it can have maximum three child, right? Here we are having three, right? So is there any four childs? No, it satisfies the first terminologies. Then what about the second one? It can have maximum two keys on each node. See, uh, it's satisfying. It's satisfying, right? There is no problem. After that, other two nodes. That is where uh, that is unnecessary, which is it can have minimum which one is minimum it can have one children right and then what about the next one it can have minimum two keys so it's satisfying right okay so almost we have inserted all the elements with an ordered uh, th ordered three b tree and uh, this is how we are going to deal insertion in b tree okay so when comparing with other tree insertion uh, bit difficult and uh, try to understand the logic and understand the proceedings okay and uh, just compare yourself with the example i already given right with the persons with the room right uh, that will be very easy for understanding and i hope you understood the logics of b tree and uh, we'll see in another video uh, with another different concept on data structures thank you all if you have any comments or if you any any doubts you can comment in comment section so actually definitely will have doubt right so repeat the video again and again you'll get a clear idea Thank you.